All right, good morning again, everyone, and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. Final day on mullet before PRI. Zach is on his way here, and we located our package from UPS. Christy had to go down, and uh, I think she had to tell them how to do their job a little bit. But anyways, she got the box, so we are gonna be knocking the front brakes on this thing in just a minute. TJ's over there working on the tubing that we've gotta make for a brace for the front of the NASCAR, which you guys are gonna see more of in some later videos. And Drew's over here working on Jimmy's Mustang, getting the hoop welded on. Morning, Drew. Morning. So, busy day today. Zach is also bringing Ruby to load up into my uh, tandem in-car trailer so they can haul both of them up there, keep both of the cars inside in case it snows. But we're gonna jump into this thing, see if we can get her get her knocked out for, uh, for the trip. Stay tuned, let's get to work. This morning, we had to take some pieces off here. I ended up taking this T-fitting off to screw our converter pressure sensor in. Drilled and tapped it, but only tapped it deep enough so that it would not block the port here because if we threaded that into where it blocked the port, you know, that might be a problem. So we had to take that off. I've got to drop the pan off of it to weld a bung to it for the temperature, the transmission oil temperature sensor. Zach is bringing the one out of the old power glide. So I'm going to have that to install here in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to knock that off, weld a bung to it. And then we have a little bit of wiring to do still with the extra lockup and dump solenoids. So I've got to work on that. Tie up some of this wiring here. Hopefully we can get all this stuff done today. If not, we'll bring it back here after PRI and finish it up then and then we'll go testing but that's how this stuff goes sometimes you get in a car ready for a show i saw you guys asking in some of the comments our issue with the clearance on the torque converter and the, to the flex plate well the converter wasn't quite pushed all the way in and we are right at an eighth of an inch of clearance i mean like it just barely will slide in there that's my little trick for checking. Basically, if an eighth inch drill bit will go in, you're good. If a 3 16 drill bit falls in and, is, and will wiggle around, well then you need to add some washers to make your gap somewhere between an eighth of an inch and 3 16 of an inch. So that's all good and fixed. Or So that's all within spec. I even called Mark Mickey just to verify that we were all good there. And then we've got some kind of trick programming to do in the ECU still. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this pan off, get the bung welded to it. See if we can keep trucking on this thing. All right, we're gonna do the talking time-lapse thing again here, which first I wanna remind you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please click the, uh, the bell icon as well so that you guys get notified whenever we release a new video. And as always, if you need any KSR merch, www.winwithksr.com. In this part of the video, just dropping the pan down, kind of getting a little bit of the wiring out of the way, cleaning the pan out right now. But you can see, kind of eyeballing where the bung is gonna fit here on the corner of the pan. Got my old trusty step bit out. It's a little bit dull. Maybe need to get me some new ones. Got the bung fit and got the pan super cleaned out and everything and then we're gonna buzz it on there and get the pan back reinstalled one thing i do is i'm real careful to not leave any potential shrapnel that can fall off of uh, like the inside where i drill out the inside of a pan or really anything that i'm working with but especially anything that's going to be inside of an engine uh, or inside of a transmission i don't want there to be any flake or piece that can fall off and get sucked up into another very critical component. So we're always really careful with cleaning out anything that we uh, drill a hole and weld to. 
And that's just, uh, I guess, one of my little short tips for you guys today. All right, well, while I was in here working, our buddies from BK Graphics. Oh, and this guy. Morning. Oh, cool. Hey, the brakes are here too. How about that? Great. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, Zach's here to load up and get out of here. Ooh, can I even see myself? But our buddies from BK Graphics showed up with all of our merch. Y'all are like silhouettes, so yeah. let's oh, there move we go. around. We gotta get the sun right. <laughs> there we go. Now we can see everybody. Yeah. So, Bert and the crew from, y'all wanna say who you are, everybody? Uh, my name's Tyler Ray. Okay. Bert? Ashley. Cool. These are the people that do all of our merch that you guys are buying, which we appreciate that. Win with KSR.com. And they brought it down in this cool rig. How about that? For your delivery vehicle when you need to, when you need your merch. So let's take a look at some of our, some of the stuff they brought. All right, so some of you guys asked for a little bit more basic hoodie. One of these are nice because they don't have the zipper in them for scratching your car. Guys, you know, I might have scratched the El Camino a little bit one time. So it's got KSR on the back and win with KSR down the sleeve website. Can we see that in the ad on the camera? Yeah, cool. So one without the zipper in it, and also one, just the zippered one. Yeah. So for those of you that like the zippered ones, which that's nice for going out, you know, and you don't want to have to take off all your clothes to take your hoodie off, because you know that happens. It takes your shirt off with it, and it's just weird. So, yeah, some new stuff for you on the website. Oh, and then Ted's wanting to show off my birthday present, which, hey guys. This got, was supposed to be a year ago, if this, we're gonna if we're gonna really be yes. truthful here. I owed this to him a year ago. He loved this picture, <laughs> and we were busy. And so I reached out to Bert from BK Graphics. I said, you need to hook me up. So they drove with them down to, and I'm presenting this to Kevin for y'all to see, his birthday present. Boom. Nice. Look at that. Hey, there's me. There's him. And Cleaner, and James, and George. Freaking and awesome. So... I don't know where he's gonna put it. It maybe end up here. It might end up at his house. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we need another one, one for each. <laughs> That's right. Mm, but but happy go. birthday, Kevin. Thank you. Thanks for everything. And uh, guys, thanks for following us. And cool. All right, everything well, it's else. time for us to get back to work. All right, this time lapse, we're gonna have the music going in the background. One of our tunes we use a lot on our time lapses. But uh, yeah, figured I'd do that along with the talking over the time lapse thing again. So right now, just finishing bolting the transmission pan back on. Got to bolt the shifter cable bracket over on the other side still. Reinstall the fittings from the dump valve right there, along with the temperature sensor. And then Drew's kind of coming in, doing some mocking up on the transmission cross member. Me and I'm kind of giving him some pointers along the way. But one of the bad things about doing really nice heat shrink uh, wiring harnesses is that if you have to go back and change anything well you have to cut off all the heat shrink and kind of start back over again and on a power glide transmission the trans brake solenoid is around the back side of the driver's side of the transmission but in a turbo 400 or at least this particular turbo 400 it's internal in the pan so there's a little short wiring harness that sticks out of the top of the passenger side of the uh, transmission so I had to shorten those wires up, redo the Deutsch connector where it connects into the transmission. Also shorten the temperature sender that uh, is installed right there by the one of the dump valve returns. So yeah, we we're doing that. And then Drew's tacking up the transmission cross member. I'm tightening the torque converter bolts. If you didn't see in the last video, we had just enough clearance to satisfy uh, M&M transmissions. Basically, we were right on the minimum spec and apparently they uh, they assumed we had a quarter inch thick mid plate instead of a 90 thousandths thick mid plate. So that's where the difference in spec come from comes from. So if we ever have to, we could have the converter milled just a little bit, which really wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, or just keep running it just like it is. So, you might have seen Zach from Cletus's shop working on the, the front brakes. And we had to do a little bit of shimming to get the caliper just right on the rotor, which is kind of normal with these aftermarket racing brake kits. 
So they include the shims along with the brake kit and wasn't too big of a deal there. So when we drop it back down, we'll re-bleed the brakes. Probably run the car for a little bit, maybe drive it around just to push any air out after we take it for a test drive and see how it feels. But after that, the bullet, the brakes should be all good to go. And I think actually that's what we're getting ready to do right here is to hop in and start bleeding the brakes. Yep, topping off the brake fluid and getting this thing just about wrapped up and ready to go in the trailer. All right, well, we about got it wrapped up. Went ahead and did a little programming and uh, gonna crank it up, top off the transmission with fluid, see how she cranks. Hopefully it's in park. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna crank. Because oh, the neutral safety is not hooked up. Oh, you get that. You coming? I got battery? Yep. Yeah, I was gonna wait for you to back out. I'm not gonna be the one that hits the door. You know what I need is something to sit on. <laughs> you guys have no idea how happy it makes me to see you short dash from the reach of pedals. Because us tall people always have our knees in the dash. I just want to be able to see over the dash. <laughs> Do you want more moving blankets? Yeah. No. I think I think one's alright. Oh yeah, that's better. Hopefully we'll both be in the camera. Alright, fire in the hole. <laughs>
Successful test drive. Do have to figure out why the lockup didn't work, but somehow I gotta pour myself out of here. <laughs> yes, you take that. Isn't it though? It's the little things. See the fans for the headlights? The uh, LEDs yeah. The All right. Well. Successful test drive there. Maybe got to do a little bit of checking to see if everything is actually connected for the lockup. Kind of uh, ran out of time to go back and double check some things, but we're gonna get her polished up a little bit, put it in the trailer so Zach can get on the road and then load in Ruby behind mullet. Yeah, but pretty successful, uh, pretty successful test drive. both tucked in snug as a bug in a rug literally tucked up under the trailer about two inches everywhere on the gap and uh let's see if i can crawl under there oh that's warm <laughs> it's entertaining cold. watching tv glass. turbos turbos a little warm <laughs> so tucked in all super tight up under the back of the parachutes here there actually is a inch inch and a half air gap but we put the blanket in there just for safekeeping and we've got about an inch to the back door and we could have taken the parachute off the back of ruby and gained us a little space but it didn't really make much sense so zach's getting on the road yep. safe travels i guess we will see you 
see you up at PRI. That'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.